<clears throat> hey guys, Spartan here, welcome back to DD. We're gonna go fight the Prophet with this team comp, with uh, level 1 man at arms, but hopefully uh, he is good enough to be taken out and stuff. Uh, Bounty Hunter, Highwayman, Vestal. But before that, uh, I want to point out that there's a new trinket that appears in the Nomad Wagon. That, well, that appeared. Sanguine Snuff, 3 crit and 15 dodge if you're in Bloodlust. Doesn't really seem that good, as, you know, for a very rare trinket. It's bloody expensive. Also, yes, I did upgrade the Blacksmith so that it does take... Um, it's finally, you know, the cheapest it's going to get, so I don't really have much point on holding off on these upgrades. So these guys are pretty much pimped out to the best that they can get, for now at least. Let's bring... 16 food. It's the Prophet fight, so, and the Prophet usually is like on the other side of the map. Yes, there are themes towards certain boss formations. You know what? Three keys. Three keys, ten torches. Just in case, we'll bring one medicinal herb, because you never know, we might find something to use it on. I might increase Wayne's lines because the game was patched to make him say lines less. Okay, so options, audio, narrator volume, let's turn that up by 10 points. There we go, increased by like 33%. Uh, so he's down here. If we get a good scout from here, we could uh, find the super secret room. I always say super secret room. It, it's a habit from playing Binding of Isaac. So yes, Breadway Man is now fully working. Now when he gets into a fight, he will no longer look like a glitching ghost. It wasn't Bread Def's fault, by the way. That was because the game updated his... Uh, movement stuff. And here's where I bought the herbs. Please give me something decent, like trinkets, maybe? Yeah, it's a it's profit, but not much profit. So we're using this extra 15% damage, which should help greatly. Um, I'm going to try to be using Caltrops on the boss to reduce his accuracy, because the profit, surprisingly enough, doesn't have that much accuracy. I mean, he hits like a truck, but he's not that good at aiming. But his aim is getting better. There we go. Speed reduced. Perfect. Stab him with that loaf of bread. Axe blade. Ooh, crit. It's because skeletons are not weak to swords. They're weak to bread. Um, that will not kill. And you have 65 plays. 175. Yeah, you're not going to resist this. You are going to move back, however. Which does not benefit me. Okay, kill this one. We can bellow again to reduce her speed. Dual advance can still hit. Another crit. Highwayman gets plus 6 crit because of his trinkets. So, he should be doing very good. Not very good, very well. Witness, tuck it out. Nothing, nothing. Wow. Let's get rid of tuck it out. Saves me a decent amount of gold. I have been locking in quirks for some heroes. Don't think any on these guys. What is it with my characters having like a lot of quick stuff? Usually, I just have a bunch of slow assholes in my party. Is this going to be like the shortest mission ever? Because we're just breezing through this dungeon. Second holy water use. I say that and I get a speed stone. Beautiful. So the man arms is hopefully going to tank the skill. It doesn't have that much dodge, so... It's not the best. Uh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. It's not good. 
How did you... Hang on. Oh, terrible. Okay, there we go. All the debuffs. Get the guy in the pack. He only has, like, level 2 skills. Uh, yeah. That was actually a pretty good chance to kill. Bleed Amulet, because he has the, um... Thing, by the way, the Caltrops. There's really no other reason why. How did you outspeed him? I know he has... How much speed does he lose from this? One speed. Jeez. Just, I don't know how he outsped him with that debuff from Bello. Uh, let's reduce your protection. Because I changed off his hook. His come hither because I was just never using it. Should have done that earlier. Hey, more herbs. Contents are mine. Beautiful. A few crests. Nothing spectacular. This is not going to be as uh, cool as the last profit quest I did, which was on my other playthrough, where I took out a Shambler at the same time. In fact, didn't I kill the Shambler, then camp and do the profit? But yeah, we're not going to find any Shamblers here, most likely. Wow, we're getting a lot of surprises. Um... Let's take out you. Oh, great, nice. Uh, me, Rampart? It's not the best. You know what, I'll go for the speed advantage again. And we missed her. Let's get Caltrops on her. That will reduce her speed. Hey, seven, perfect. That's a lethal. There's the soothed and sedated again that you can barely hear. Still audible. Audible.com slash Jontron show or whatever. The Real Spartan is sponsored by absolutely no one because no one wants to sponsor me because I actually haven't looked. Brought to you by Kellogg's. Okay, fine. Not brought to you by anything. God damn, my mouth is dry. I just drank like half a bottle of Solo. Okay, half a bottle is a bit of an exaggeration, but still, I drank a lot of it. Probably not gonna get... Wait, where did my keys go? Oh, there they are. I was looking for two keys, but there was three because I didn't notice. Uh, health stone is worth 750 gold. It's worth more than a journal page, I'll tell you that much. Hang on, let's, let's scout first. Nope, no scout. That is fine by me. Except it's not really. And these are worth 750 each. Uh, you know what? No, I don't want them. I'll probably forget to sell them anyway. There we go, more gold. The absolute madman. Uh, Brad, can you take him out? Let's just soften him. Okay, I guess no softening up. Yeah, hit him with that sharpened bread. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened bread. Okay, you, get in the front. I want you to move. So that you both screw up and use your crappy attacks. Okay, that's actually perfect that he didn't get debuffed because that means he is very much more likely to move before he does, which will cause them to do the stupid thing again. God damn it. Why did you have to crit? Why did you have to double crit? You had no stress. And you just screwed up the positioning. Okay, take this. Crush him. What's with all the crits? I call this crit crazy. In before I actually title the episode that because I'm unoriginal. The prophet is in this room, right? We probably should have camped beforehand, but like we're full health. Like no stress. What could possibly go wrong?
Well, I can't guard from that. I actually have a decent chance to stun. I'm gonna guard her so she doesn't get hit by another one of those. It's a 10, it's not bad. Oh wait! Actually, Spartan, you're a genius, that was perfect. Okay, and this uh, should make him miss that attack. Oh, Illuminati confirmed. It's an old joke. Please miss. Nope, that was heavy damage. Are you alright? Probably not. Okay, let's stack up that accuracy debuff. Well, not really stack it up, just cause it to be there. Get some healing on bread. I don't want to move him back because that'll cause him to be hit by the thing, so I just have to chop this pew here. Um, you know what, I'll stack up the protection on the man arms. 70%. Okay, that's the extra accuracy loss for us. You know, this fight, you could probably cheese this fight with just a whole bunch of uh, men at arms. I mean, not men at arms, uh, bounty hunters, because the bounty hunter has naturally decent dodge chance. Anyway, um, he's just going to be protected anyway, so this doesn't matter. What it does mean is that I can smack him with this. Eye on you. Goddamn Illuminati. Wait, how did you get stunned? How much stun resist do you have? That's bullshit. I don't care what you say, that's bullshit. He should not have got stunned there. Excluding the 40 he just got, he has 80 stun resist. The man in arms has 50. Okay. Guard you, because apparently this guy can somehow hit me even though he has like no accuracy. And stab him here. Get that repost back up. Fulminate. Oh damn, the bounty hunter is just getting his shit pushed in. I swear that they decreased the chance of him saying that. Um, he can't hit the, him from back there, can he? No, he can't. He needs to use the point blank shot in order to reposition himself. Eye on you. No. Hey, at least it didn't remove the guard. Calamitious prognostication. Just gotta stack up that debuff. Always be stacking debuff. Mm. Yeah. We might be able to finish him here, actually. If we just cram damage on him. If the repost does... Oh, come on. If you hit that, we probably would have had lethal. Because the repost probably isn't going to deal 10 damage. Okay, he attacks twice, so... Oh, I forgot he was still guarded. Eh, uh, he's still dead. He's prophesized your end. No, he hasn't. He's prophesized his end. And he's wrong. Just throw this at his face. You could have wagered that I should have uh, destroyed some of those pews before I finished the fight, but really, I don't care. It's, it's not that much, it's not like I can carry it. Oh, what? They doubled the value of this stuff? Shit. I should have. Back in my day, that only gave 1,250 gold. 
It wasn't really that worth it. God damn it, why does no one tell me these things? Jesus. Ugh. Okay, bandit sense. Let's remove some stress. Uh, no one's religious, so we don't get boosts. I could gamble on Gallows Humor, so chance to reduce 20 stress on each of these. Okay, that's fine. And... Wait, is there a way to get scouting extra bonuses? No. This weapon's practice. Okay. Vestal didn't get crit, but it doesn't matter. Let's douse the torch and go exploring. I don't know why it wasn't highlighted there. Okay, so reduce your stress a bit. It's plain outside. It's just plain annoying. Hey, you know what? Maybe we will find a shambler. It's like a 1% chance, but it is a chance. A chance XL fled. Okay, that was like the worst joke ever. You know, usually I like to be very subtle with those jokes, but... Uh, yeah. Hey look, a pile of rubble. I know I got shovels for a reason. Cold stone creamery. Uh, I make this joke too often. You know what? I make the I make this joke too often joke too often. It's just like the whole Brian, please don't call me Brian, Brian Kibler, Kibler, Kibler joke. We're out of food already because you fatty bombas need to eat every single few seconds. You just had the equivalency of two meals there like 20 seconds ago. How hard can it be to walk down these hallways? I understand that the man at arms is like, and even the vessel to an extent is covered, covered in heavy armor. You could wager that for the uh, bounty hunter too, but the man at arms is just, he's just carrying a coat, a gun, and a loaf of bread. He's not carrying anything of any, you know, major weight. He just gets some bone skeletons. We'll never stop saying that joke. Okay, um, let's heal up a bit, actually. Because this fight isn't too dangerous. I mean, we can just stab this guy. It'd be funny if he kills an abomination, like... Party member abomination, if he, he said that. That would be pretty funny. To me, at least. There we go, we restored a lot of health in this fight. And we have taken, like, two damage. Okay, four. There's some blood for us. Hey, you're usually supposed to spend blood to get treasure. You remember? Trinkets and gold. Paid for in blood. I guess that's what happens when you give the, uh, the mantis man the blood for trinkets. In the courtyard. What's in here? Oh boy, a torch. We don't need these torches. The only thing we could possibly interact with would be like the Shambler altar. And those things probably will not appear. Because, of course, when I'm ready to take on a Shambler, they're not going to show up. 11. Ugh. Why do these guys have to have 15% protection? I mean, it's understandable because they have like low health. They have 12 health. Can we- can you deal one damage? No, you cannot. Because you're a weakling. And you have a negative damage trinket. And all your hard work just got wasted. Double heal. And chop you up. This is worth a thousand gold, so I'll just throw out the citrine. Gotta keep resetting my party order. I wish there was a command that could use to automatically reset your party order. Oh no, it's these things. Let me guess, Crimson Curse. Okay, at least that's no Crimson Curse so far. And Maddening Wine, which is not a big deal. 
12. Perfect. You see, this is why bread is the best unit. And the best weapon. Uh, these guys' debuff resist isn't that... It, it, it's actually quite admirable for a level 1 enemy. And you can't stun them, so... Please no Crimson, Crimson Curse on the level 0. Thank you. Judgment and a good wicked slice should kill. Or, you know, a critical hit collect bounty. How, how come those enemies didn't drop blood? Or is it merely a drink of the light? Ugh, I am angry. Do we need the shovel? If we go around, we don't. We're probably gonna run out of food, though. It's a trap! Um, do we want to cut it here? Yeah, we don't have any food. Don't want to risk getting a lot of stress. Starving is bad enough. But starving in the dark is even worse. 11,590 goals. Not including the quest reward. And you get extra experience. Fear of Unholy. Ton Rotator. Wheel Scrounger. Slugger. Oh, thanks. Thanks for Slugger on the unit that has one melee skill. And it's garbage. Okay, so if Bread is idle, he'll gain a level, which it probably will happen because I don't need to remove anything on him. Doesn't need stress relief. Okay, Ostrava, let's get rid of that Torn Rotator. I said yes, get rid of Torn Rotator. Uh, I need another slot in this place, but I also need to upgrade those Respir ex ex blah blah, Experience Recruit. Oh, I actually did, I forgot. It <laughs> doesn't show. I could recruit some level 0 highwaymen and just level them up immediately. These guys aren't really that good though. Are you good? No, are you good? Oh yeah, you know. Gotta get the crit on that one ranged skill you have. Oh wait, no, I forget Barbaric Yacht got changed to a melee for some reason. That's bloody weird. Okay, um, let's, um, unequip these guys, sort by level, and see what we can go next week. Ooh, surgical gloves. Those are actually really good for the leper. Extra crit and extra accuracy at the cost of move resist, which he has a lot of, and debuff resist, which doesn't really matter. Gather blood for a book of relaxation. It's also not bad for the leper. Stun Trinket. Stress Resist. Ooh, Rampart Shield. Rampart Shield got heavily nerfed, but it's still really good. Hell's Hairpin. Ugh. Did this get changed? Doesn't seem to have been. Oh, Sun Ring. Yep, we're gonna go get the Sun Ring next week. We don't have many that high level units. Uh, is what's his name okay? DNM? Yeah, he's okay. So we are locked in quick reflexes on Forster. Cost a bloody fortune. But yeah, we're gonna go get the Sun Ring because Sun Ring is like the best trinket in the game. I'm surprised it hasn't been nerfed yet. Like to be a very rare or something. Let's check the Nomad Wagon as well. Hey, it's a pile of garbage. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be going to the Cove and getting the Sun Ring. See you guys later. Bye.